Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Mad Warrior. I've made a couple of changes to the deck since last time. I've added the Emperor, Torrison, I've, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, uh, instead of Sylvanas, and I've added a Grim Patron instead of a Bomb Lover. I haven't had like too many games to test it out so far, but it's been working pretty well. I don't want to go too overboard with the Grand Patrons, is why, is why I only added one. I want it to be like an extra tool, not something I necessarily rely on. So we have the Axe, and we have an Executor. I like Executor as a Druid, so let's keep that around. See if we can get some early minions as well. Alright, we got something. I don't mind playing a Mad Bomb on turn 2, that is totally fine. Oh, he tossed everything. That's good news. Hopefully he got a bunch of useless cards. Well, let's see. You have one mana, no coin. What can you really do? Probably nothing. Unless you want to play a walking infiltrator that I can hit with a bomb. Alright, I think we just end turn here. Play the mad bomb on next turn. Ah, White Grove. That's too bad. He threw into it after the. He tossed his cards away in the mulligan. Ah, it's so tempting to like coin out an acolyte since we have all these activators for it, but it's. I think it's a terrible idea since he has four mana coming up. It's he's just so likely to silence it with a keeper, and that really hurts. And you know what? That hurts too. Stupid mad bomber. He's supposed to hit the enemy. Well, uh, not the best here. I just, I, I know, I can't justify playing the Acolyte. It's just too risky. So let's play the Armor Smith here. I mean, we have lots of removal, so we can deal with him playing big minions. It's just, of course, unfortunate that he has this stealth one we can't really do anything about. And now we don't even have the bomb lopper in the deck, so... Can't even hope for that. Not despite. So what do we want to do? Do we want to play the 5 e Warx? So we can also maybe play the Taskmaster? Hmm. Because then we could, like, buff this one up. But we also have the Death Spite, and then we don't have to use the coin. And well, let's play the Death Spite here. See what comes out of this. Hopefully a 1-1. One, one. Uh, no such luck. But, I mean, if you... Yeah, okay, you know what, it's fine. We just kill that. And then go for the face. Hope he plays some big minion we can execute. Really? Hero power? <laughs> or maybe Wrath, too. So, oh, s well, that was not a very strong turn. Unfortunately, we don't have anything great we can do either. Yeah, it's pretty lackluster. I guess we just play the Acrolyte and um, Taskmaster it and hope we draw something useful here. Hmm. Alright. Well, we can certainly fill our hand up pretty easily. Since we have the whirlwind from that battle rage. Yeah. Ah, hate that keeper. But we got one card out of it first. I didn't want to get the second card with that spite because it's too useful to just use for drawing a card in that spot. Uh, so what to do? Unfortunately, we can't really... Like, if we hadn't done that extra damage here, we could have played the armor smith, attack with this, and then drew so many cards. But you know what? I think this is fine. If we do it this way... Go for the phase. Both of them. Well, at least... Actually, I shouldn't have attacked with that one yet. Should have seen what we drew first. And then we attack there. Then Battle Rage. 
draw some cards. Dr. Boom. Well, that's useful for next turn, possibly. Oh man, too bad we can't get the Emperor out yet. I can't really do too much here. You know what, I'm actually tempted to play the other Acolyte here. We have enough cards. And that just gives him more stuff to worry about. So let's do that. Well, let's see what you got for us. Hmm. Well, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this game now. Well, maybe not. Oh, okay, we can... What to do, actually? Um, we should probably clear the board, because suddenly I'm realizing that we actually... You know, we gotta be careful we don't die here. What's a crimp patron? So we can execute that. We could execute that, like run that into that and execute it. And draw extra cards by attacking into it. And then play a Grim Patron. Of course, it has to be a little... But what else are we really gonna do? I mean, it's pretty obvious we have to execute uh, that one. So... Strike. Let's do that. Let me execute it attack into it to draw a card. Let me execute that one. You know what, maybe we should... Um... Well... Play the Grim Patron. It does to do that next turn together with the Taskmaster or something. What if we just do... that and armor up. So we get some armor, we clear the board. You have a very strong hand. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it doesn't get too much better than this. So much value. Alright, pretty slow play. Now, we still gotta be worried though. Whirlwind. Okay, so now we could do some stuff with the Grim Patron, right? Do that. Then... Two Whirlwind. That. Then uh, kill this one. It takes us down to 15, so he can't kill us with the combo. That... Mad Bomber? Do you want to do the Mad Bomber or the Taskmaster? Uh, probably the Mad Bomber, right? But then that... No, then it just, we take the risk of getting down to 14. I don't want to take that risk. So let's kill that. And just uh, get in here. Alright. Well. That's a lot of stuff. And it's hard to get rid of for a druid. Since the, like, the main AoE is swipe. And you don't really want to swipe a board like this. Alright. Let's see. Well that is scary. And that is also scary. And you're getting... Hmm... How to do this? Well, I think we need... Okay, so how much damage? We have 10, 13, right? I'm pretty close, but I think we need to worry about surviving here. So we need to get it taunt up. We could try on the Mad Bomber. Um, so the Mad Bomber that we need to armor up. I want to armor up. So we gotta do that. Let me have that, that. Play the Mad Bomber. See what it hits. Maybe run... That into that first. Okay. 
then play the mad bomber. And I hope, like, if you can kill that one, that would of course be optimal. But it's not what I was hoping for at all. It didn't even hit one of those. When we play again, it's a taunt. Let me just go for the face here. But you're pretty likely to die here. He had the Emperor, so all his cards are cheaper, so he could do like crazy stuff. Well, some. What if he just has a regular combo with nothing else? Does he have lethal then? No. No, he needs more than that. Okay, that's good. Man, Mad Bomber, you really disappointed me there. Hit that one twice, that was so useless. And then you didn't hit that one at all. Ah, well, at least you didn't hit our face, right? I don't think he did. I hit that. Oh, yeah, he hit Druids. I mean, he only hit enemies, but but I wanted him to hit our friends. Oh, Mad Bomber, you have much to learn. Okay, well, at least he used one mana already. One mana wild growth, because that's the Emperor. And we have our own Emperor here, but we just haven't had a good time to play him this game, because every turn is so precious, we need to avoid dying. Okay. Right. Yeah, we need to clear the board. It's just too... If we had a way, like we had another Taskmaster, I think... Yeah, then we would have lethal, but we don't, so... No reason to really think about that. So the question is, what do we do? Do we play the... We need to kill that. I think we need to clear the board. It's too risky not to. So, um... If we do... That... Run this one into that. Then run that one into that. That leaves us with a free free. What would we rather have? If you do these two into that, that one inside, we get five into the face. That way we get three into the face. Hmm. Which way do I want to do it? You know what? I think we do this way. Then get five damage to the face. The face, like, I was kind of like thinking I would prefer having more life on it, but more tag is nice too, and we do get more damage in on the face, so that is that. Alright. It's not too surprising, but we needed to clear the board, and that was the only way. I have no time for games. What a close game this is. You know it. Hero power. <laughs> He's nervous too, right? But he has three cards left, and I'm just scared that he has the combo in there. It's pretty likely, isn't it? So, if we armor up, we will have 20 life. If we don't kill that, then he will have... ...exactly 20 damage with the combo. Which means that if he has the combo, we die. Oh. Well, Not too much we can do about that. I think we're gonna armor up anyway. And just play Dr. Boom and, and hope he, he doesn't have it. Then he would have exact lethal. The chances are pretty low for us though. No? Okay, we are alive for another turn. Good news. Very good news. Now, can we make this work? We have... Spellbreaker. We throw two bombs into that, then we can get seven in. If any of the like, we just need to hit his face a little bit. But then we also need to, if they don't hit though, then we just die. Oh, we just don't have any removal left in our hand. You know what? Do we just let's hit this first? See what our bombs hit. Good. Or of course, hitting the face would have been better, but. Also, maybe we should play flooding the server, actually. Hmm. So, if it that hits for four, there's no way we can have lethal now. I guess that was also what I was hoping for. Do we play the Emperor? 
I really want to armor up though. Let's play this one. And you know what? Let's just play two of those and armor up. Do that. Okay. Well, we could die, we could survive, but I think if you had both combo pieces, you would have used them last turn. So I think we probably will survive. Then again, if he was missing one, there's a pretty high chance of drawing it. And this game is rough. Like, it's so close. All depends. Like, every turn, you're thinking that the other person might kill. Oh, we got it. Very nice. <laughs> Sorry. I, I gotta go for a minute, but I'll be right back and continue the video. Okay, I'm back. Just had to, to go for a minute there, but I'm back, so let's play another game. And hopefully it can be an interesting one like the last one. I mean, that was so close. And the best part, of course, is that we actually won in the end. Too bad we couldn't really get good use out of our Emperor Tarician, but at least we did get some use out of our other new card, the Grim Patron. It worked out pretty well, that card, that match, I would have to say. Alright. Ah, oh, pretty good hand. I think I'll just keep all of it. Um, do I want to keep the Mad Bomber, though? I don't think the Mad Bomber is as good versus Warlock as versus Hunter. Since they tend to play Void Walkers and stuff like that if they sue. If your hand locks, well, then it doesn't really help at all. And we already have these cards, so let's toss that one and see if maybe we can uh, get a weapon or a shredder or something. Not a berserker. Okay, could be worse, I suppose. Definitely worse. Oh, it, I mean, it definitely could. A zombie chow. Hmm. I think we coin out the armor smith. And then next turn we play the Taskmaster to buff it up to a 3-3, so we can kill the Zombie Chow. Unless, of course, he runs into the Zombie... Uh, Almost Smith with the Zombie Chow, he might actually do that. Yeah. I think that was a good decision on his part. Um, no, it looks like it's a hand lock, so... Oh. What? How do we want to do this? If we could run that into that, then play the Mad Bomber and try and hit it with a bomb. But the thing is, if it doesn't hit, that would be kind of disastrous. And even though there's a pretty high chance it would, there's still a chance that it wouldn't. So I think the safer play is this. Alright, at least we get some armor, I suppose. But not super happy about the whole thing. And we didn't definitely didn't gain any value because he also lifed out, so... Yeah, it's definitely a hand luck. Good thing we have an execute. And a Black Knight, I suppose. Those are good cards in this matchup. Now, I would like to draw a Shredder or a Death's Bite or something like that. Hmm. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, oh, that's a Shredder. Yeah, okay, let's get this right out. Then let's kill that owl. Of course, the thing is that would like leave us pretty weak to Hellfire. So I think I might actually do it this way instead. Just to keep this one above free life. Yeah, because I mean, he's gonna use AoE sooner or later. That much is a given. Uh, right. What's good against Twilight Drakes, potentially? Or to finish him off in the end. Now, what do we want to do this turn? We want to play the Mad Bomber? Try and hit it with a bomb so we can... Yeah, do we want to play this one first? Okay, let's go for it. Come on, Bomber. Hit the Sludge Belcher. No, no, no! That's not what you were supposed to do at all, Bomber. Wow. Not having so much Bomber luck. That. <sighs> oh boy. <laughs> that 
could have gone a lot better. Oh man. And the thing is, our hand is so... Like, it's pretty well... E oh man. Okay, thank you. That's exactly the card we needed right now, actually. We don't have very many cards in hand, but it's a 6 drop. It's a good 6 drop. So, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get here after that whole Doomsday fiasco, man. That hurts. And then right after the whole bad bomber thing, too. I guess it made no difference in the end because of the Doom player, but, but still... Not exactly pleased here. Alright, let's do that. Kill that. <laughs> All our cards will be super cheap, but it doesn't really matter since we barely have any. It, it could come into effect though, say we get a, a battle rage or something, and we actually refill our hand a bit. Ah, we haven't taken any damage ourselves yet either. Hmm. Mortal Coral. Alright, well, hope you get Dr. Boom or something like that. Hey, at least he used a lot of cards there, but he got one of them right back. So, I guess this is, <laughs> this, this is a good supporting hand, but it's not a hand you really want on an empty board. Jeez, man. It's, I, it's all that Doomsayer's fault. Everything was going fine. Okay, I mean, you can kill it, but his hand is almost full, so that's a lot of value he's getting. Oh, man. Sadness. Okay, Palmer, show what you got. Execute that, and... I think I want to hold on to the Taskmaster here. Also because... Now, say we get Gromash, we're actually really close to lethal, and we actually would have lethal if we just end the turn here and we got Gromash, so... But we wouldn't if we used our Taskmaster. Alright. Ah, another Dark Bomb. For one mana. Yeah. We still have three mana left. Come on, life tap. Get down to 12, that gives us the chance of lethal. 1 in 17 if he does that. So many possibilities. Do it. Ah. Nah, that's a pretty scary board. Uh, well, maybe if you're lucky, he doesn't have any taunt givers. So I think. We think we just gotta try, right? Spellbreaker doesn't really do anything, so let's just... Well, I mean, we could kill a giant here, but then we wouldn't have an activator for Gromash. I think this is, like, our only chance is that he doesn't have any taunts or heals and we get Gromash. If we use our Execute here, we lose pretty much no matter what. So, I think we just go for this. Yeah. Okay. Not feeling good about it, though. Alright. Well, let's see. He got to be at least be a little nervous, unless he has a whole bunch of taunts and heals, but... Let's see. Alright. Nah. Yeah, I think now it's pretty much over. But let's see what we get here. That's our last card. What well sad. Let's play a third game. Hopefully. It'll be more like the first one rather than this one. No, well, let's see what we get. No more Doomsayers, please. Unless it's for the enemy when we're behind. Or for us when we're behind, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like being behind, though. That's usually a bad thing for a tempo deck. Okay, a mage. Let's keep the bomber. 
and see what else we can get. Another bomber and a berserker. It's always nice to have a solid free drop, especially when you don't have the coin, since you don't have as much flexibility. Let's see if it's gonna be a mech mage. It could be a freeze mage. Trying to take advantage of the Emperor. Well, let's see what she plays. Mad Scientist, probably. But the thing is, Mad... Okay, well, this tells us everything we need to know, right? So, I guess, yeah, Mad Bomber. Oh! Oh, almost, Bomber! But the nice thing is, it did take it down to one life, which means that we could potentially finish it off with a... With a whirlwind. I think though, in this specific situation, I want to try another time with the bomber. Come on, do it! Do it! Okay, good. <laughs> well, that went pretty well. We have a whirlwind, we have a grim patron. Hmm, interesting. But... Oh. Oh. So, it's probably Mirror Entity, right? Ah, so how do we want to do it? Do we want to give her another card? Because the thing is, then we can just kill her Acolyte with our Mad Bomber. Of course, we could also do something like Frothing Berserker, then run that into it, and or then like Whirlwind, and then run that into it, and then get a really big Frothing Berserker. But we would use a whole bunch of cards that way, and we would also use up our Whirlwind. I just ah, let's do it. She already used one Frostbolt, so that's less chance of her having a Frostbolt for our Acolyte. So that's nice. What's not so nice is that we just gave her a card to repay her, like, mirror entity. If only we had six mana next turn, we could do something like Patron Whirlwind. Mm -hmm. I always play the frauding Berserker here. Um... How do we do this exactly? I think we play the frothing and an armor smith, and then maybe next turn go for the patron plus the whirlwind. We will have three cards on the board that all benefit from whirlwind. We'll actually four with the patron, and it's doubtful that she can kill all of them. The question is, do we run the acolyte into the snow sugar to buff up the? I don't really see the point to be honest. So let's just do this. And go for the face. And she will probably get frozen here, but... Well, she might run into a minion. We'll see what she does. The thing is, if she runs into, like, the frothing, then it'll only have one life left. Which means that it will die to whirlwind. Well, what are you gonna do? This could be like the perfect board for Whirlwind though, if she doesn't kill any minions. Well... Most mech mages don't run Flame Strike. Well, at least she can't do Flame Strike next turn, there would have to be two turns before that. Wow, she's really doubting herself here. Fair enough, we took a while about our last turn as well. Yeah, what do you kill with that chucker? Well, so she goes for the face. This does set us up for a really nice whirlwind, so let's do exactly that. There we go. <laughs> All these minions benefit from it hugely, so... 
now. Wow, how big is it gonna be? Eight attack. Alright, so how do we do this? Let's attack this one first, see what we draw. That's gonna be so big though. Maybe just go for the face with it. Strike. Twelve. You know what, let's go for the face. It's just applied so much pressure that her deal with it. And we have plenty of life, like 31. She has a lot of targets that she would like to kill here and she can't do flame strike yet even if she does run mech mage with it. Which is unusual, but of course it's quite possible. All right. Well, we still have our patrons. Let's see if there's another fastball. No. Wait, really? We can just... Oh, maybe she does a flame strike and she's like, I don't even care if you get a whole bunch of them. Because I'll just gonna f flame strike your next turn anyway. Yeah, that could be it. Well, how do we react to that information? I guess we just let her flame strike, right? So I'm thinking something like slam into that. So we can run that into that. And run these two into that one. So let's do. Well, I guess we should slam first, actually. And do that. See what comes out of this one. Hmm. Kind of want to get rid of the chucker, but could also play this one. Can always kill the chucker later. You know what? Let's play this one. And also deals better with flame strike than most things. Oh, let's, let's see if she has it. I'm pretty sure that. No. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Oh man. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good. Oh man, glad that's not a doops. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.